Hello everyone, it's me, Mrs. Gronert, and today we are going to be learning how to make these super cute fork print bears. Let's take a look at what we need and what we need to do to complete this project. Fork print bear art. For this project, you will need construction paper, tempera paint, glue and scissors, a plastic fork, a paper plate, some paper scraps, and a black pen. You can pause the video here if you need to, to go and get your supplies ready. If your supplies are ready, let's take a look at what we do to complete this fun project. So first, get your supplies ready. Then, put the tempera paint onto a paper plate. I've already done that. I took my tempera paint and put it right onto my paper plate. I mixed two colors together so I could get a really pretty brown. You can do that or you can do brown or white or really any color. Okay, what do we do next? Now, what we do, we're going to start in the center of our piece of paper and we're going to put the fork in the paint and then press the fork on the paper. If for some reason the fork is not printing, get more paint. Then move the fork around the page in a circle until you have a nice bear head. You'll also use the fork to make ears at the top of the bear's head. Let's take a look at how we do that. I'm going to show you that right now. Here's my paper. So the first thing I'm going to do is start with the center of my page and add a fork print right there. So I'm gonna take my paint. Notice how I move the fork around. It gets a lot of nice paint on the fork. And then right here in the center, <gasps> look at that. And then I'm going to go around in a circle. Now it's easier if you move the paper around as you print the fork, see that? It's kind of hard to turn the fork around and not the paper. Okay, so I've got that part and I definitely need to have a bigger bear head. So I'm just gonna keep making this bigger and bigger until I have a really nice sized circle. If you want your bear to look like it's really thick fur, you can add more fork prints. If you want your bear to have some white fur underneath, you can leave your fork prints so that you can see the white like you notice what's happening with mine. But notice how the whole time I'm making this, I'm turning my paper around and then putting the fork right there on the paper, just like that. Oh, I am almost done. Let's see, I wanna make my bear just a little bit bigger. So I'll add a few more times around. Look at that, get that paint on my fork and keep on going. Look at that, wow, this is so cute. And it's really fun to do the fork prints with the fork. Look at that. Oh boy, this is coming out so cute. There we go. Okay, so now I have my fork prints around in a nice circle, but now I need to make some ears on my bear. So since I kind of made an extra piece there, I'm gonna go ahead and make one ear right there so that it looks like it's supposed to be there. So I'm just gonna take my fork and add some more parts sticking up like that. Look at that great looking ear, I love it. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side to make another bear ear. Oh my goodness, so cute. Here we go, make that one go up, this one go over. Ugh, look at that, ah, look at my bear head, it's perfect. So now that you have the fork prints in a nice circle for a bear head with two ears, let's take a look at what we do next. So, 
So next, we are going to draw a circle on our scrap paper to make the bear's muzzle. Then we'll draw or cut out a nose and eyes. We can draw a mouth and whiskers with our pen. And once we're done with those things, we'll glue the muzzle, nose, and eyes onto the bear's head. That will be so cool. Okay, so here is my brown paper that I'm going to use for the muzzle. And I'm just going to draw a nice size circle for the muzzle of the bear. So I'm gonna do that right now and then I'll cut my circle. Oh, that looks perfect. Look at that. <gasps> what a great circle. Now I can cut that out. That will be really nice. Now, if for some reason I cut this and it's too big and it looks funny on my bear head, then I can cut it smaller. It's kind of nice to check and see if the size is just right. So we'll do that before we glue it down. Okay, let's see. Here's the muzzle that I made. Let's see if it's the right size for this bear. Oh, I think that's too big. I need to cut it smaller. Let me do that so that it doesn't look silly. I don't want my bear to look silly. I want my bear to look cute. Oh, I think that'll be much better. Let's see. <gasps> Oh, I think that's a pretty good size, don't you? Yeah, so now that I have the muzzle, I'm going to take my black scrap paper and cut out a nose. <laughs> so I can draw a nose just like I drew the muzzle with my pen. There we go, there's a little round nose for my bear. And then I'll cut that out. Here we go, cut out my little nose, just like that. If you need help with the cutting parts, you can always ask a grown-up to help you. Okay, so there's my nose and let's see. Oh, that's gonna look cute on my muzzle. So now I'm going to take my glue and glue that on. There we go. And here we go, right there onto my muzzle. And the next thing I want to do is draw a mouth and some little whiskers for my bear. Let's see how I do that, ready? So here's my pen. I'm going to draw a straight line down and then a little bear smile. Ah, oh, look at that, that's so cute. Now I'm going to add a few whiskers. Oh, I love it. Now that I have my muzzle finished, I'm ready to cut out some eyes for my bear. I'm going to just go ahead and use my scrap paper to draw some eyes and then cut them out. Here we go. Circles for eyes right there. And then I'll cut those eyes out too. Once I finish that, I can either cut out black parts on the eyes for the eyes to put in the center, or if I want to, I can just draw those on. I think I'll be drawing that on for this bear because it'll be a lot faster. So let me draw the little circles in the center of the eyes. There are the eyes. And I'll draw a circle over here and a circle over here. Look at that. Perfect. Okay. So now I just need to glue those pieces onto my bear. When the paint is wet, you might not even need glue, but I'm going to add a little bit of glue to the part so that I can get that. So here we go. I'm going to put the muzzle right there in the center. Oh my goodness. That's so cute. And now I'm going to glue down my eyes. Oops, I need to get some glue on the eye. There we go. That bear will be looking off to the side. And some more glue for this eye. There we go. And this bear's looking off to the side. And there it is. I have a super cute fork print bear. 
I hope you have fun making this art project and I hope to see you again very soon.